Okay, Horror Nights has blessed us once again with another house announcement. Yes, this is three within a week, and this one is a big one. One that a lot of people, including myself, have been wanting to see for quite a while, for the past two years at least. Today, Tuesday, May 21st at 10.33 a.m., we got announced Major Sweets Candy Factory. According to the Horror Night social medias, the house description reads as follows. You've been invited to chaperone a field trip to a candy factory. But the deadly delicious treats turn the kids into sugar-fueled fiends. Now this is really exciting as this is going to be a house sequel to a fan-favorite scare zone from two years ago, Sweet's Revenge. It's one of my favorite scare zones of that year. I know it's probably one of your favorite scare zones from that year. But it looks like we're going to dive a little bit deeper into the lore of major sweets within this house. However, for those who didn't visit HHN in 2022 and don't really know the lore behind Major Sweets or Sweet Revenge, let me fill you in a bit. The story begins with the 2022 Summer Tribute Store, which was themed to a tribute theater. A theater with a mysterious history as it pertains to the nearby town of Hollow Hills. It was shut down, but then the mayor reopened it to incorporate it within a new Halloween celebration. This celebration also included a large-scale Halloween Halloween parade with candy supplied by Major Sweets Candy Company. But for those who went through that scare zone, you know how that all went down. There was something mysterious, dangerous, even poisonous perhaps within the candy from Major Sweets Candy Company. And this candy turned the innocent children of Hollow Hills into crazed killers that wreaked havoc on the streets of the town and the Halloween party. Now, looking a bit deeper into the photo itself, of course, we have the logo here, Major Sweets Candy Factory. We do have a picture of Major Sweets himself reused from the Sweets Revenge Scare Zone. But if you look all the way in the back, you get a little bit of a look at the candy factory itself. Part of the success of that original Scare Zone were the set pieces. So I'm guessing this house is going to have some really big sets inside of a soundstage. Maybe this little Major Sweets exterior could be the facade for this haunted house that we see at the event. I'm sure we'll see this exterior brought to life somehow, or else I don't know why they would include it in the key art. Looks really cool, definitely giving me very big Willy Wonka vibes, which makes sense. That's kind of what this is loosely based off of. I'm hoping for a lot of camp in this house. That was part of what made that scare zone so fun because it was so campy, kind of goofy. Hoping for bright, colorful, cartoony sets like we got in that scare zone as well. And maybe even some cool music to pop in there. That was part of what also worked in that scare zone. This is a house I'm super stoked for. I really love this vibe. Even though Sweet's Revenge wasn't my favorite scare zone of that year, it was one of my favorite. I thought the vibe was unmatched. I think it is one of the best scare zones that New York has seen in in quite a while and I just can't wait to see how they translate this to a haunted house what the scares could be like what the smells could be like considering we're in a candy factory I better smell some candy I know I'm comparing it a lot to the scare zone but I really hope it does something new does something exciting while keeping that same tone keeping that same feel adding to the lore creating a new story giving us some more of major sweets because we got to see him in the scare zone but a little more of his backstory would be really really interesting for this haunted house but generally I am just excited for this house it's up there with slaughter cinema for me for being houses I'm super stoked for we only got three but this this has got to be this has got to be up there with goblins feast yesterday and this house announcement today I think we could be seeing a very interesting week on our hands of course slaughter cinema 2 was announced this past Friday an original goblins feast an original major sweets an original could we be getting all of our originals first and right now within the span of this week that would be absolutely insane and unprecedented if it did happen but even if it doesn't again i love this house i'm super excited for this house i want to give this house its moment and just celebrate the fact that we are getting these house announcements like crazy even if this is the last one for a while i'm content because we already have three houses for halloween horror nights 32 already announced which is insane considering we are still in may anyways i've expressed that i'm very excited for this house let me know what you think in the 
comments below, are you excited for Major Sweets Candy Factory to come to Halloween Horror Nights 33? Did you experience that original Sweets Revenge Scare Zone? What did you think of it? Let me know all your thoughts about this in the comments below. And just for fun, what's your favorite candy? I really can't pick a favorite. I like a lot of sour candies. So let me know in the comments below what your favorite candy is as well. I'm just having fun here, but if you had fun with this video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. It would be truly, truly appreciated. Let's me know you like videos like this and you want me to make more of them. Anyways, I want to thank you all for watching this video. I will, of course, see you in the next one, which may be an announcement, maybe not an announcement. I said that in the last video. I said maybe not. Well, here we are. Regardless, I'll see you on the next one. But until then, stay spooky and take care, everybody.